Hi, um, I'm here with uh, some uh, amazing beers and some great people. Uh, right here we have Ed Davis, who was kind enough to share some really special beers with us today, which I'll explain in a second. And I'm here with Don Barkley, who currently is the brewmaster at Napa Smith Brewery in Napa, California, but once upon a time worked as the assistant brewer at the first modern microbrewery in America, not too far from here in Sonoma, by the name of New Albion Brewery, which oh, uh, incorporated in 1976, made a few batches in 77, really got kicked in in 78. We believe these bottles are from 1979, or about 20, 33 years ago. 33 years ago. And um, Ed was kind enough to drive those up from San Jose. He contacted me a few months ago about whether I might know anybody who might be interested in them, and not surprisingly, I did know somebody who was interested in them. Uh, that person, of course, was me. And, um, and I thought it would be really fun to, to, to do this with Don here as well, since he made some of these beers. Um, so these beers have been, how, how have you stored them? Uh, oh, very carefully. Very carefully. Yeah. In my garage. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> That's what I was afraid of. Good, good. That bodes well, certainly. So we're going to open these beers um, uh, and, and try them and see what time has done to them and see what's left of them. And, um, this is, uh, I hesitate to call this a noble experiment because I, uh, this is, we are brave. Right? Yeah. That's really what it comes down to. But I am curious and I assume mm. you're curious and you want to see what your handiwork has wrought over 33 years? Over 33 years. I can't imagine anything from probably some kind of horrid li liquid in there. <laughs> but we're going to give it a try. It's amazing. 33 years in the bottle here, the very first craft beer to be produced in America since Prohibition and it's wonderful to uh, add for Thank you so much for bringing this up. This is a special occasion and when we talk about vertical tastings of beers and people trying all these little beers, well this is definitely the oldest uh, craft brewery tasting in history. In history, in history. In history. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, Jay, so we start with the L? Yeah, let's try to open it. makes me nervous to open it, you know? Yeah. Well, it may pour itself out on the table. Yeah, we'll see if it starts gushing. Oh. Well, it's certainly, it, it's my pleasure to bring these up to somebody who understands and appreciates what they are. It's pretty amazing. I, just by looking at the way the labels are put on the bottle, I think I must have done each one of these. They're perfect. <laughs> The, the, the stuff's just a little crazy. Yeah, it's just <laughs> not noticeable. Yeah. Well, you're getting a little bit of um, a little bit of carbonation. Carbonation. I'm not gonna. There's probably some there, residue. I haven't roused so, this at all. I think I'll leave that at the bottom. It, they were all bottle conditioned, of course, but they're, they're, it's pouring fairly clear. It is really it was amazing. Now, Jay, I hope you don't expect me to drink the entire thing. Oh, I have a feeling we'll find a few people. Hey, well, cheers. After 33 years in the bottle, it's been resurrected here. A little bit of New Albion pale. All right, let's uh, see what we get in the nose. Oh, yeah, I'm not picking up a lot of sour or some no. acid. A little bit of oxidation. Yeah. 33 years of oxidation. Fine. I know. <laughs> Doing fine. A little sherry. But that's to be expected. Yeah, a little sherry. Not getting any hop connection, but I wasn't expecting any. <laughs> It's certainly wow. better than I expected. It's really not so bad. Yeah. It's it's vinous, a little mm -hmm. wine-like, mm -hmm. and maybe it's part of that's the sherry from the oxidation, mm -hmm. but not the tartness. I was no. expecting to see some uh, acidity and tartness, but that's really not um, over the top. Now, this there's some Belgian ales that taste just like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they're fresh. Mm -hmm. So this is really really wow. This is amazing. It's incredible. Oh, it's held up. It, when yes. I say it's in a yeah. absolutely not in super hot conditions. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So cellar temperature, essentially. Well, uh, warmer than cellar, but oh, okay. yeah. As long as it's consistent, usually you're okay. And it's you know, down near the floor in a, in a mm -hmm. cupboard, that kind mm -hmm. of thing. So it was. Uh, so this is real typical. Any bitterness as far as hot bitterness? Very, very calm and very yep. relaxed, not over, overly bitter. Obviously, there's no hot. Aromatic. No, no, no. There's some sweet notes in the flavors. Um, mm. uh, yeah. It's, uh, wow. Yeah. For 33 years, this is pretty good. Cheers. Cheers. 
I hope I taste as good dirty beers. <laughs> you did a good job, man. Yeah, well, I think you did a good job scoring this as well. This is what a treat. Oh. All right, so we move on to the pale now. Yeah. You, I see you brought some other glasses over. Maybe we can swap out the glasses here. Well, we're, we're down to the dark now. Oh, the porter. That's right. The porter. Stop yeah, by stop stop that's right. Yeah. Stop porter. So the porter is this yeah, beautiful label here. Yeah. The it's porter was cool. actually brought on uh, in 1979. It was a re recipe we developed um, uh, after the stout and the pale ale were produced for about two years. All right, so we're going to open the porter now. Porter had 13.5% 40 level bond amber malt in it to give it that sort of caramely uh, look. And this porter was made uh, with a distinctly different uh, style than what we think of as a porter these days. So it's much uh, lighter in color. It's not that black porter look. More red. Sort of a deep red and brown mm -hmm. through color. Yeah. Backdrop to the color. Yeah, you definitely see the red. Mm -hmm. Boy, you've got that, that carmeling, slightly oxidized. Mm -hmm. Definitely missed that. But nice mm -hmm. caramel to it, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. The malt is still showing through. Mm -hmm. Pretty good too. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yes. Yeah. This is amazing. So again, not a lot, no acetic acid, no, no lactic acid, no, no, no sourness, no really sourness. to speak of at all. Mm -hmm. um, the oxidation is really the only defect that you could point to and say you don't have, but yeah, it's totally expected after three mm -hmm. years. <clears throat> Especially, you know, there's a little bit of. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, you don't show me that. I'm not sure I yeah. want to drink it. <laughs> we'll forget about it. We'll forget about whatever's going on at the top of that crown. <laughs> so again, sort of licorice, caramel. Um, yep. Nothing, no hot aromas to speak of. And this was a lightly hot beer anyway. anyway so, sure. uh, and in those days, lightly hot was very lightly. Yeah, I mean, it's, the fact that both of them are not totally flat is mm -hmm. uh, almost surprising, I think, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. But, uh, but they're not. I mean, they're, they're still a little bit of light carbonation, mm -hmm. which is yeah. great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What? Stout. I know. Okay. What a delight. This is fun. Yeah. This is great fun. Mm -hmm. this old, 
so I'm really no, pleasantly surprised. So I am really pleased. I was ready to go. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Make that face. No, no need to. No. Hey, you know what? We have our uh, our lead brewer here. Oh yeah, uh, uh, Michael Payne. Hey, Michael. Yeah. You want to try some of these beers? I don't see why not yet. Yeah. Come on over. We can twist your arm. <laughs> wow, this is fantastic. Hey, this is this is a really fun thing to do. It brings back so many memories of what we were doing at the New Mountain Brewery. Oh, pretzels too. Of course. Wow, I don't want to get in the way. This is the pail. You know, you're going to get the bottom of the bottle. I'm not sure what's going to come That's out of here. Schmigler's all right. It's. You know, we got we got the good stuff. I'm not sure we, we got the good stuff. You can have some tomorrow. Here's some uh, some more pale. Thank you, Ed. Thank you, Don. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks a lot.